In this video, we're going to be finding terms in our linear sequence using the statistics mode on a Casio ClassWiz. Now I'm using a ClassWiz FX991EX, but if you have other versions, provided that you've got a statistics mode, then you're going to be able to follow this video. Now, just a heads up from the beginning, this is a little bit of a hack. We're going to be exploiting the regression features in the statistics mode of the calculators to help us out here. Be careful of the wording of the questions again, whether you can use this in an exam situation or not. Remember, it's always best to use a full method, but again, a great check otherwise, or when you're outside of an exam situation. So let's take a look at what we've got to do. The sixth term in a linear sequence is 19. The seventh term in a linear sequence is 26. And we've got to work out the 100th term. So let's go to statistics mode on the calculator. Now this is option six on the 991EX, but it might be option two or others on other models. And from the menu, we're going to choose option two. Uh, now this depicts a linear relationship. We're already told that it is a linear sequence. So we're going to choose option two here. And we've got options here for X and Y. Depending on how recently you've used this mode, you may also have a frequency column as well, if you've got frequency switched on for statistics mode. We're just going to ignore that. Just let it pre-populate with the number one as we go through this uh, and just ignore it otherwise. So in X, X is going to represent our N, so our terms in the sequence. And we know that we've got the sixth and the seventh term. So we're going to input six and seven in there. And the y is going to re represent our actual terms in the sequence. So in this case, the sixth term is 19 and the seventh term is 26. And we need at least two, like we've got here, to find a linear relationship. So once we've got those two in, what we're going to do is press Option and then scroll down and we want one statistics calc. We're going to be performing some calculations within the statistics mode. OK, and so once we're in there, what we want to do is input the term that we want to find. So in this case, the hundredth, so 100. And then before we press anything else, option. And then we're looking for regression, so not regression calc on the first uh, page that we've got here. You need to scroll down to the next page and it's for regression. We've got various options here. Now, what we want to choose is the last one here, which is Y with a little hat on the top. Y hat. It's got this um, hat shape thing on the top so press 5 and what this is essentially asking the calculator in the circumstances of these this question is I'm looking for the hundredth term what's the y so what's the term in the sequence and if we press equals then we have the hundredth term here 677 we've used this regression feature on the calculator to be able to find out the hundredth term in the sequence and incidentally if we are looking for the nth term uh, equation for the sequence what we can do is if we press option again and this time press regression calc we've got three bits of information here now if you have a look at how the equation of the line is presented y equals a plus bx x is representing our n so it's negative 23 minus 23 plus 7n you might want to switch those the other way around 7n minus 23 is the nth term of uh, this particular sequence. The R of one there just means that we've got a perfect linear relationship, which we knew anyway, because it's told us that it was a linear sequence. So there we go, a simple calculator hack there that we can use to find terms in a linear sequence provided that we know two. Uh, we can go to any term in that sequence and we can even find the nth term as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time on The Calculator Guide.